नाउज़बिल्लिम बसमीम डियर स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन ऑफ योर्स बेटे इस सेशन में हम अपना नावल टॉयलाइट इन दिल्ली बाय अहमद अली उसका आगाज़ करने जा रहे हैं हमारे लिए सबसे पहले जो करने का काम है वो अहमद अली के मुख्तर हालात ज़िंदगी और उसका जो लिटरेरी कैरियर है उस पर एक छछलती हुई नज़र डालना ताकि उसकी तहरीर को बेहतर अंदाज़ में जो है वो हम जान सकें कि टॉयल आइट एंड दिल्ली किस तरह का नावल है और इस पर मुमकिन इम्तहानी सवाल क्या होंगे तो आइए अहमद अली की मुख्तर हालात ज़िंदगी और उसका तलीमी कैरियर और उसका लिटरेरी कैरियर उस पर एक नज़र डालते हैं डियर स्टूडेंट्स अहमद अली वॉज बॉर्न ऑन जूले द फर्स्ट नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड टेन इन दहली द प्री पार्टीशन दहली इंडो पाक दैट इज टू से द सब कॉन्टिनेंट एंड डाइड ऑन जनवरी फोर्टीन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फोर इन कराची पाकिस्तान ए पाकिस्तानी ऑथर हुज नावल्स एंड शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एग्जामन इस्लामिक कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन इन हिंदू डोमिनेटेड इंडिया रूल्ड बाई द ब्रिटिश द ब्रिटिश इम्पीरियलिज्म कलोनियल रूल ही वॉज प्रोफिशेंट इन बोथ इंग्लिश एंड उर्दू लैंग्वेज एज यू नो सो ही वॉज एन अकम्पलिश्ड ट्रांसलेटर एंड लिटरेरी क्रिटिक एज वेल Ahmad Ali got his education early education at Aligarh Muslim University a renowned institution of the Muslims established by Sir Syed Ahmad Khan uh, from 1925 to 1927 and at Lucknow University graduated from there in 1930 and did his uh, post graduation MA in English 1931 In addition to his career as a writer, he was a professor, a teacher, a diplomat, and a businessman as well. In 1932, he helped publish Angare, a Urdu collection, an anthology of short stories written in Urdu that was immediately banned for its bitter critique of middle-class Muslim values. Subsequently, he became a founder of the All India Progressive Writers Association. in 1936 which promoted innovation in urdu literature his influential short fiction collected in such volumes as shole 1936 and uh, hamare gali 1942 is characterized by its sense of realism and uh, social awareness and by its use of stream of consciousness technique in these uh, smaller pieces of short stories here and there collected in different Uh, with different names in different years from time to time as we have known that uh, he was born in delhi a classic uh, uh, symbol of uh, indian life uh, during the british reign ahmed ali was educated at aligarh muslim university and lucknow university as we have already discussed in the later in lucknow university having achieved the highest marks in english in the history of the university he got prominence from 1932 to 1946 a period of uh, uh, more than 14 years he taught at the leading indian universities including allahabad university and his alma mater in lucknow this was his teaching career as a professor he was he he also joined the bengal senior educational service as professor and head of the english department at presidency college kolkata 1944 to 1947 and was also the bbc's representative and director in india during world war second from 1942 to 1945 it was another dimension of his uh, personality uh, his english learning language learning helped him in gaining uh, this type of uh, uh, job as well along with his teaching career following that he was the british consul visiting professor to nanjing university china as appointed by the british government of india at that time you know very well 
that uh, China was also a colony of the British at that time. In 1948, he moved to Karachi. Later, he was appointed director of foreign publicity for the Pakistani government. At the behest of Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan, he joined the Pakistan Foreign Service in 1950. He chose China as he was already acquainted with the Chinese language and people and became Pakistan's first envoy to the new People's Republic of China. He established formal diplomatic relations th that same year. He also helped to establish an embassy in Morocco and uh, did some other ambassadorial work in many other countries as a representative of Pakistan. Uh, dear students, side by side his teaching career as a professor and his diplomatic uh, engagements here and there at different levels and his um, engagement as a representative of BBC uh, News. <coughs> he started his early career at a very young age and became a co-founder of the All India Progressive Writers Movement along with the writer, famous writer Sajad Zaheer, uh, famous Urdu writer of short stories who had become well known by the publication of Angare in 1932. It was a collection of short stories in the Urdu language and was a bitter critic of middle class Muslim values in British India, as we have already gone through this fact. In addition to Ali, it included stories by three of his friends, Mahmoudul Zafar, Sajjad Zaheer and Rashid Jahan. This book was later banned by the British government of India in March 1933. Shortly afterwards, Ali and Zafar announced the formation of a League of Progressive Authors which was later to expand and become the All India Progressive Writers Association. All, uh, Ali presented his paper, Art Ka Trakki Pasand Nazriya, a progressive view of art in its inaugural conference in 1936. You may say that he was uh, a co-founder, uh, one of the pioneers of uh, this progressive movement of writing in Urdu short stories and other writings as well. Dear students, as Ali was uh, an expert, uh, very fluent in English as a professor and uh, this prestige gave him a chance to earn a good name as a writer in English when he uh, published his first novel in English. Ali earned international fame with his first novel written in English, Twilight in Delhi, and it was published in London in 1940. This novel, as its title implies, describes the decline of the Muslim aristocracy. With the advance of the British colonialism in the early 20th century in the unpartitioned India, it nostalgically chronicles the passing of the traditional Muslim aristocracy in light of encroaching British colonialism in the early 20th century. His second novel, Ocean of Night, 1964, examines the cultural rift in India that preceded the creation of India and Pakistan in 1947. Like the Ocean of Night, another uh, novel of rats and diplomats, which was published in 1984, quite uh, later than the second publication in 1964 was written decades before its publication however it is a satiric novel about a diplomat whose rat-like tale is the physical manifestation of his moral dissolutions Ali's other notable works include Purple Gold Mountain a volume of verse collections and The Prison House a collection of short stories which were uh, published at different dates all Pali published a contemporary bilingual uh, translation in English and Urdu of the Holy Quran in 1988. In 1992, he released a revised edition of his anthology of Urdu poetry in English translation, The Golden Tradition, namely The Golden Tradition. And uh, it was published originally in 1973, but it was republished in 1988. Uh, after revisions and some additions as well. 
dear students although ahmed ali was born before partition before the birth of pakistan yet he is included among pakistani writers as he came to pakistan after partition lived here died here ahmed ali was a pakistani novelist poet critic translator diplomat scholar statesman teacher and newscaster and a representative of a, a very big establishment of bbc uh, as well he was one of the pioneers of the modern urdu short story indeed al quran the translation he provided in the later part of his life a contemporary translation is his most notable contribution in the field of translation approved by eminent islamic scholars it has become to be recognized as one of the best existing translations of the holy quran bete ab tak hum ahmed ali ki life par mukhtasar jo hai wo baat humne ki hai aur uska taleemi career uska literary career aur uska diplomatic career aur uska as a writer jo uski contributions hain unko intahai ikhtisar ke sath बयान करने की कोशिश की है ताकि हम जान सकें कि ये एक मल्टी डायमेंशनल पर्सनैलिटी के हमल एक राइटर जो है वो किस तरह की तहरीर जो है उनकी हमें आगे जो है वो पढ़ने को मिलेगी थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीबॉडी फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस सेशन ऑफ योर्स इट वाज अ ब्रीफ सर्वे ऑफ द बियोग्राफिकल एंड लिटरेरी Uh, life of ahmed ali the writer of twilight in delhi see you soon in the next session till then allah hafiz